Here we go with Slanesh and the Ogres making a pact to eat their enemies versus the Chaos Dwarfs and the Undead Vampire Coast. Slaughtermaster for me with the Snowhorn, Morn, or <coughs> Mornfang, Stonefang, <laughs> Snowfang, Stonefang. We got Teamer teamed up with me with Nakari and all of his demonic goodness. And the deal was, whatever we kill, I eat. So these Noblars are going to be trying to move on our home objective while the Chaos Boys, Bird and Pigman, try to move on up. Yeah, it's not looking good. Chaos Caster, Demon's Tongue, this is going to be rough. Some Sorcerer of Death. Yeah, he even brought the Reforge, so that Demon's Tongue is not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Noculus, Noc... Ugh, how do you pronounce his name? Noctilus. I was going to say Noctilus. Anyways, Noctilus and his boys are moving through with all those Death Guard animated hulks. So we're going to fast forward as we position. Bring Scrap Launcher for the Cannonades. And we seem to be trading well into it so far. The Cannonades hit sometimes. And we hit the Cannonades sometimes. Moving on to the point, which makes sense. We got Triple Lead Belcher on the side objective. To unload into all that grossness. And we will keep unloading till we get them all dead. Scrap launcher's faring all right. We bring a second one in because in case we take that out, that cannonade out, which we seem to be doing pretty quickly, once it starts crumbling. I brought in the snowhorn just as a carnifix. Distract everything if he brought mass shooting. If they brought mass shooting, that forty missiles, uh, missile resistance. Plus the healing from Troll Guts. Probably help out a bit as Nakari just does what Nakari does best. These boys are trying to shut down my Lead Belcher Kite, which they should. If you don't, it's going to be big trouble. Death Guard getting hit up by the Snowhorn of Morn. And it's doing a damn good job. Love this thing. I just love my big monsters, you know. In 2v2s, you can really get away with it. Look at him go! Yeah, come in here, animated hulks. Bam! This thing looks fucking sick. It looks like a Yeti. If a Yeti, you know, gained two tons. Animated Hulk's Depth Guard versus these Chaos Wars of Slanesh as the Animated Hulk's also try to get in there. <laughs> Akari is not having a good time. It's a 3v1 right now, although the Fiends and the Mornfang I'm bringing in and the Lead Belch are shooting in support. Oh no, there are also some Forsaken in there as well, trying to help out. These Chaos Furies also trying to get in there. And it's just all sorts of violence going on. We try to move upwards as these boys keep getting aggressive. We are trying to take point two right now. And the values are quite even. Teamer's actually doing pretty good. I wonder what's getting him. Well, it's probably Nakari getting all that value. Not really trying to heal anything. Although I probably could have healed Nakari with Troll Guts. I don't play 2v2. We don't play 2v2s that often. I was trying to save it for the Snowhorn, but looking back at it now with the replay, I think hitting Nakari with some healing would have helped out immensely. But then again, his stupid Sorcerer would have been healing too, and that would have been a problem. Noctilus is trying to fight off my snow horn. Blazing Beards are trying to make it down to our home objective as these animate hulks just charge into everything. Oh, we are not having a good time, folks. Not a good time. Although we are winning in the value. Uh, Points-wise, not so much. But we'll get there. Hopefully these scrap launchers can pay for themselves. Looks like the cannon age shut one of them down. Let Belcher start shooting! And here come the bull centaurs with gray weapons. Great. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Luckily, Teamer came in here with the Hellstrider save to get these boys out of there. And those... Ah, oh, those scra uh, stupid Noblars. Stupid sexy Noblars. Should have been helping out there, but trying to micro all this. Such a pain. We almost broke his... Uh, his sorcerer hero. But those... Oh, man, that eruption was so good. Got rid of all of those Furies. Demon's Tongue's doing massive damage. Yeah, and just straight up piled in on my Snowhorn. Morn. Try to get him out of there. Maybe get a Troll Guts on him while I can. 
Probably should have did it onto that train over there, but we're gonna bring the snow horn to deal with that. Just get Noculus so out of position. Which is nice. Look at that, that healing. Oh, it's so nasty. Get those Dark Ravagers of Hushud out of there as well. Bring in more Mornfang. To at least help out as they try to finish off Nakari. Oh, the death is so annoying. The Lead Beltress can't even get in because of the woods. Honestly, most of the important fight has been happening in the woods, <laughs> which is kind of weird. I was expecting this to be nice and in the open, but no. That's what we were talking about before this game. We were like, ah, oh, there's going to be so much fighting in the open with all the artillery and everything. There's hardly any artillery fire, and, and the artillery has been fighting each other. Yeah. Whenever we play against each other in these 2v2s, they really don't go how we expect them at all. No, keep Nakari alive! Lead Belcher's forgotten. Trying to get shots in. These damn trees are annoying. Troll guts on the snowhorn? Yes, thank you, please. Heal my boy up. Get that Demon Sorcerer Prophet out of there. That's so annoying. Even though he's charging, he can't land them because of the animation, which is really dumb. Even those Furies can't even charge in because of how that works. It's really stupid, honestly. Alright, looking at this now. Even, somewhat even in value, but we're having trouble now, just getting pushed back. We're definitely not going to be able to get point three, the side point here. We're going to try to do as much damage, distract them as long as we can, and then make a big old push for their home objective. Although I probably didn't need to lose the Snowhorn at this point. I'm probably going to since it's 8v1. Noctilus and all these Chaos Sorcerers coming in. Ugh. Look at that. No, my big boy. I mean, it's doing its job as a distraction. It's doing a great job. Look how many enemy units are surrounding this thing. While the rest of us, or the rest of our armies can deal with everything else on the side. It's going to take it a while. Yeah, there he goes. Even getting, <laughs> even flinging some poor Infernal Iron Sworn for the trouble. And these lead belchers need to start doing some work. Probably go into those Infernal Iron Sworn as we make our way up into their home objective. They really have nothing here. We're just going to try to slow them down as quick as we can. We have the speed advantage, that's what we're going to need. And here they come now. Stupid Sorcerer Prophets. Oh, stupid Sorcerer Prophets. Ugh. Yeah, Team Mirror doesn't like Pavain because it's so gross. And I can understand that sentiment. So Nakari's not packing probably the most powerful spell in the Slanesh roster, honestly. Easily could have torn through some of these character leaders. Or just characters in general. Snowhorn has not crumbled yet. We're going to go... Uh, probably could have just came back with him, healed him up, and then sent him in. It was really dumb of me not to do that. I sent him in to dis harass the... Final Iron... Or er, the Fire Glaives. And here come the Crushers on that Sorcerer Prophet. Narcissism. Ability Teamer also doesn't like. But you know what? We're here. We're trying to get rid of them. Get used to it. And we got Lead Belchers unloading into him as well. Although they're not... Uh, probably because of blocked line of sight. So that's not going to help. Oh, there they go. Will they get their shots? Eh, just a few. Not enough really to make it worth it. Well, we are holding their home objective. We can catch up in points. We got lots of things coming in. Iron Guts, Ogre Bulls, the works. Stonehorn's finally getting piss off. Oh, I feel so stupid not bringing it over just to heal and causing mass terror over in this side. That would help them a lot. Sorry, teamer. Sorry for being a silly, silly player. And anyway, Hulk's trying to deal with my Iron Guts, which they will handily do since they're not trying to kill him. Ooh, is this going to be another eruption? Yeah. Good eruption. Although it was only on the Furies, yeah. A little bit got caught onto the Crushers, though. Or the Crushers, the Mornfang Cap. Although we are collapsing this front. Depth Guard getting slighted. 
by these iron guts and no those are just ogre bulls ogre bulls and my slaughter master Sabertooth just trying to slow down the infernal iron fire glaives or er, yeah the fire glaives fury's just being annoying probably doing way better than most of my units let's see the value yeah teamers definitely got more value surprise well i mean it's vampire counts so i'm not surprised bird isn't accumulating anything most of the Vampire Count's value comes from just ranged units, and there aren't too many of those going around. Yeah, just unload. Unload into the Fire Glaives, please. Just weaken them as quick as you can. I could... Oh, and look at that Demon's Tongue. It was so low before. Now that damn Reach Forge, both of them probably got off. And now it's back to full. Oh, it's so stupid. So stupid good. Something I need to consider when doing the Chaos Dwarf build. I don't know if that would actually work, though. Huh. I have to try that. For sure. Here we go with Crush... Er, the Born Fan Calf coming in now. These Iron Fist variants. Just to slow down this tongue. And yeah, looking at the value... Yeah, it's still pretty close. Number of units, though. Teamer's petering out. The Kari got cut out. Doesn't have that many, so we are kind of losing that front. I mean, there is still hope. We have hope. We have points. Casters are pretty damn low. All we have left to deal with are some zombos. Which is the hardest thing to kill. But there are a lot of zombos. And they retook the objective. Okay, we're in trouble. <laughs> we gotta hope these chaos warriors hold out. I mean, it's just a bunch of zombies and old players. Looking at it now, though, kind of wish I would have brought some explosive spells to deal with this horde. That's really what we're lacking right now. Just something to wipe a bunch of units off the board. Or a bunch of models off the board. Or maybe a scrap launcher just unloading. I mean, we have... Ooh, we have lead belchers. Uh, trying to keep these casters honest. And they should be blowing up these beards of blazing blub. Bloobs. Oh, we're just trying to kill these stupid casters and we're not doing a good job. And then we have wolf riders in the back. No! Bastards. Yeah, they're just coming in. The hordes of hell are upon us. There's no way to stop them. There's the scrap launcher. A little late. Should be going into those giant piles of orc laborers or the blazing beards. Well, there's nothing but garbage coming our way. We can barely hold it on one objective. This stupid scrap launcher. Stupid sexy scrap launcher. Ugh. Yep, that's gonna be our line broken down. There's plenty of zombies still. It's looking pretty sad for us right now. No! Pig bad, you bastard. Why'd you do it? And finally, the snow horn is back. It's not gonna be enough, really. But it looks cute. That was good chuck at the blazing beards. Jeez. Took a good 2,000. Yeah, we're probably gonna be in. <laughs> we're probably gonna fast forward here soon. We're just gonna watch a few of this before we move on to what we need to. I want to see this snowhorn actually do something. I mean, it's a good tank. For 2050, you can get a pretty good carnifex. Just distract everything, or just mow down a bunch of infantry, or take out some cheap, monstrous infantry. Other than that, they're kind of meh. Furies are trying to break down their lord. I don't think that's going to be enough. Although, if they did, we'd have to go cap their home objective again. And I don't think we're doing that. And then when you have Infernal Iron Sworn on the other objective with Depth Guard, I think. So yeah, it's all a bad time. Uh, and then the Ravagers of Hushud are back, so... 
Although they are anti-infantry, they'll still wail into my snow horn. And Pigman will not leave my caster alone because he's a dirty bastard. <laughs> Kill his lord! Kill it! Although there isn't that much on the homo deck, we might be able to push that. If my lord wasn't about to die, we probably could. Uh, will we be able to? Probably not. Yeah, one snow horn into those depth guard, into those other units, maybe. But that's not looking good, so yeah. GG's, fellas, GG's, you sneaky bastards. There goes the lord, the uh, demon's tongue. It's just a fucking monster. Which makes sense when you give it all that healing. He was at damn near nothing and then reforged it twice, and... Yeah, that's what I should have done with the snow horn. <laughs> Instead of just throwing it away. Though it did make its value back. Barely later on. Wasn't too good with those lead belchers, honestly. Probably should have brought some iron guts over the Mornfang just to have some more units on the point. There were a lot of infantry, and I think the iron guns could have filled out the list nicely. Yeah, two scrap launchers as well was a bit much. Probably could have dropped one for maybe. Maybe some man eaters? Maybe. Doubt it. I don't know. Crusher or crushers. Morn Fang with gray weapons seemed fine. The shield went eh. It's tough. Especially losing the car when I should have been healing the car over the Morn Fang. Oh, there's just so many mistakes for me. Sorry, teamer, we could have had that one. I was just goofing up. Alright folks, if you enjoyed that one though, please let me know down in the comments. Like and subscribe here, we're on the road to 1000. I definitely would appreciate it. I'm sure you would too, and come stop by on the stream when we have them. Usually notified here on YouTube, so keep an eye out. And you can play with all of us here. Alright folks, with all that said, y'all have a good one, peace, and goodbye for now.